Today, guys, I'm going to explain to you how to make your begonia maculata blue. My friends, I'm Min, and I'd love to share with you guys today on how to make your begonia maculata flower. This also applies to any cane type of begonia, and begonia maculata require the right growing conditions to help the plant produce flowers. Whether you grow the plant indoors or outdoors, try and give it the right growing conditions because the giving the plant the right growing condition means that it's going to be a healthier plant and a healthier plant is more likely to produce flowers. I also found during my plant journey, it's important to give begonias enough sunlight. They do like medium to bright indirect sunlight. Definitely they don't like direct afternoon sunlight because that can be very harsh and burn the leaves. And I found that if a begonia doesn't have enough sunlight, what's gonna happen is the plant's gonna prioritize leaves over producing flowers. And that's because it doesn't have enough energy to maintain itself, let alone produce the flowers. And for myself, I pop my begonias near an east facing window. It's about 50 centimeters away from an east facing window. So it, re it receives a lot of the morning gentle sunlight and in the afternoon, it's shaded away from the bright afternoon sunlight. It's only, it's only receiving indirect afternoon sunlight. And also I find that with watering, try not to get the leaves wet because begonias don't like wet, wet leaves and that can attract a lot of bacteria or fungus when the leaves are wet. And if, it, if it, there is fungus like mildew, try and treat it immediately because not only that can damage the leaves, that can actually kill the plant. And also try and when watering, try not to get the stem wet because if the plant is starting to reduce the flower buds, a wet stem can actually damage the flower bud and a dead, uh, well, a damaged flower bud may not even bloom. I also found it's important to fertilize your begonia and for myself, I use an all-purpose uh, liquid fertilizer at a quarter strength, or I use worm casting. These days, I use worm casting more than a liquid fertilizer, and that's because I found that worm casting is a lot more gentle fertilizer, and that helps the roots become, well, helps to prevent the roots becoming damaged from over-fertilizing. So it helps the roots from preventing it becoming burnt. And also, I found that if your begonia maculata is blooming, fantastic, well done. And definitely, I'd recommend that if the flower is starting to die off, cut off all the dead flowers, because uh, deflower or debudding the flower head means that it gives a chance for the plant to actually bloom again. So any dead flowers, cut those off, and you'll be surprised it can bloom again. And that's all the care tip. Oh, the final care tip I have is that when, when you're having, well, if you find any pests on your plants, especially if you're growing your begonias outdoors and you're finding any caterpillars, definitely uh, try and treat it immediately because a caterpillar can damage like a begonia just like this very quickly. So try and get rid of the pests as quickly as you can. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanted to know more care tips on how to take care of begonia maculata and grow a nice and lush begonia, I'll pop in the description down the bottom a link on another video you may enjoy watching. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you haven't done it before, please hit the likes button and the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. That way I can share with you guys more tips on how to take care of uh, your plants. And I uh, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the week. I'll catch you next time. Bye.